the Francis Howell School Board approves revised versions of elected high school courses on black literature and history. This is after months of controversy about trying to change these courses. Months of controversy, but now what happens? Fox 2's Chris Frenier joins us in O'Fallon. And Chris, does this end the controversy or does it continue? The controversy may continue, John, but we have resolution on how these courses are going to move forward. You know, a lot of people have been closely watching this for a long time now. The details on what exactly happened last night appearing in our post-dispatch partners, the Francis House School Board taking that final action in a meeting held here at the district headquarters just off Highway 40 and Route K in O'Fallon. We can show you some past video where this issue has been in the spotlight. The controversy starting months ago when Francis House School Board members said they wanted to make changes to black literature and history elective courses for high school students. Board members making the case that the courses contain social justice standards from the Southern Law Poverty Center. The concern was that those standards were attempts to teach students critical race theory. Our post-dispatch partners report that the board last night nearly rejected the black literature course, but in the end, all of the curriculum was approved with some revisions. The Post reporting that the black history course seemed to undergo the most changes with entire units being refocused and the curriculum being more sequential now rather than more thematic as it was originally written. Some accused the board of whitewashing the courses by making changes to them, but one board member argued that the courses now give a more accurate representation of history rather than a view of it through the lens of victim and oppressor. We understand that across Francis Howell's three high schools, 60 students enrolled this year in black history, while 40 student, 42 students signed up for black literature. For now, live no Fallon, Chris Bringier, Fox News.